Have you guys ever had that issue where you're trying to draw in Blender but you can't rotate your canvas? If you haven't, I don't know how, because I sure have, and I'm going to show you how you can fix that. Let's go! Welcome back guys, this is your Blender Addict Legitly back again with another tutorial video for you. So today we're going to talk about how to get blender to do rotation and it's 2d canvas so many people have came up with certain ways to do it i found two that should help anybody that has a drawing tablet so if you have a xp pen wacom or a huion this will work or even any laptop that has ability to draw on its surface with a digital art pen or stylus Anyway, um, so when you first get Blender pulled up, you'll see this information stating um, 2D. So if you go 2D animation, basically is what you'll you'll have the ability to do. So once it comes up, you're gonna be actually viewing inside of the camera, which is a 50 millimeter camera lens representation, and you cannot actually rotate in here. And uh, even when you can rotate, it's a stupid type of rotate, to be honest. It's not smooth at all. So let's say you want to just regular rotate without doing anything that I'm about to show you. If you just type 1 on your number pad or keypad, or if you just click on the Y for front orthographic view. So we can hit 1. You can see that it says front orthographic, or you can just click on Y and it'll give you front orthographic as well and now you're out of the view of the camera which is great and if you hit shift and the number four on your number pad it will rotate for you and voila there you go you have rotation you're welcome game over end of the video no i'm lying <laughs> i'm just messing with you guys but um this this is a dumb rotation and i don't like it I mean, even if you did the opposite, shift and then six to rotate back, it's kind of blocky, you know? It's not smooth and fluent. You may not want to rotate in that amount of, of degrees, right? So how do you fix that? Well, it's pretty simple, and I'm going to go ahead and show you now. So if you go to Edit, go to Preferences, and then you have your Preference window pull up right over here if I can get to it it's in the area where I can't you guys can't see so let me just bring that in so if I open this up usually when you first get into it it's gonna be showing interface information you'll have to kick on key map this shows all the hotkeys that blender is using for certain aspects which you can change if you want to which is pretty cool so if you go to 3d view and then hit global scroll all the way down so you can't no more and then you can hit add you can add whatever you want here for a hot key or a shortcut and I already done so and if you type in view 3d dot view underscore R O L L this will be a Python script that generates and allows you to create your own custom rotation hotkey. Um, they already have a setup like this, but you're adding a new one. Um, so what I did was click on keyboard. You can do mouse if you want to. It's completely up to you how you set this up. You can do pretty much any key or mouse click that you want. But I have mine set up as shift. You have to click on it. Shift, Alt, and I hit R on my keyboard. For R for rotation anyway. Once you're done, you just click on this three bar icon, hit save preferences, and you can bring this down. So now if we do Shift, R, uh, Alt, Shift, R, we can rotate nice and smooth. And I bet you're wondering, how did I get it to run smooth like that? Well, if you didn't see it, I'm gonna show you now. Um, that same preferences, what we did was we instead of doing by degree or row left or row right, it does by it does 
buy increments, but if you do buy angle, it allows you to completely roll it through uh, 160 degrees without any kind of issues, and it's nice, smooth, and fluent like how I just showed you right here. So instead of it being something like this, where it's shift four, it's going to be shift alt r and then you have a complete rotation nice and smooth which is great exactly what you want so that's the first step now say you have a drawing tablet so like i mentioned wacom huion xp pen uh i forget the other one like gaio or something like that there's plenty of them out here and plenty of people have different versions um right now the one i'm working with if you're interested is this one this is a huion canvas pro 16 tablet it's not that expensive it was pretty manageable for the price and it's a 1080p i mean granted it's not the best solution uh resolution but it is workable and it has six shortcuts and a scroll bar that's all programmable you can scroll up scroll down or change it to Increase the size of a brush, decrease, whatever you want, you can configure these buttons. In order to do so, you do have to download the program that the tablet is supposed to use. So the manufacturers would have developed a program that allows you to use custom button functions information. So whether you have a Wacom, you have to go to their website, or a Huion, you have to go to their website. So I downloaded the program, it's called Wacom Tablet, pretty basic. And if you click on keys, here you will see that you can change each individual button you see fit, which is great. So you can already see I already have it set up. All I did was click on it, clicked on Shift, Alt, and R, and then we just click OK, hit Apply, and then you're done. So now if I click the button on my tablet, I can rotate with ease as well. Well, say, OK, Lee, that sounds great what's the other option so there is a fourth well actually third option i'm sorry a third option and that is wireless remote so there's going to be a fourth option for this one because the wireless remote has two different options and i'm going to talk to you here about it so the first option which i did already is i bought a wireless express key remote and this is from Wacom. So yes, I'm using two different company information for drawing. So I have Wacom for the remote and Huion for the tablet. The reason why I chose Wacom is because Huion doesn't have an Express Key Remote at the moment that I'm aware of. But Wacom did and their key remote is specific to um, applications as well. You can add any application you want, whether it's say you want to use it in Firefox or, you know, whatever you have Photoshop the sky's the limit right any application you have so um, that's specific for this one so I clicked on blender got one open and then here for this top corner button I have it set up for rotation so if I click here go to keyboard and then keystroke alt shift R is what I set it for typed in the name rotation clicked OK and then we are able to use the remote so I'm gonna turn the remote on it is now connected the only bad thing about the remote is that it doesn't uh, have Bluetooth connectivity so that's gonna be the second remote information I'm talking about so in the next few weeks I will be developing and creating a Bluetooth wireless remote control that has hotkeys just like this Wacom Wacom comes with a wireless dongle attachment, so it uses up a USB slot. And if you're using a laptop that only has like two to three USB slots, you may already need those for a keyboard, a mouse, or etc. And um, you may not want to have another USB attached to it, right? So Bluetooth would be your best option. So I should be able to design one. I'm going to be looking it up and finding out. I'm not going to guarantee until I get some information going, but I'm going to try to set up a wireless Bluetooth remote. But at the moment, I am using the Wacom one. And um, so if I click on the button on the Wacom Express key remote in that top corner that we showed that I set up, all I have to do is just click it. And again, we're rotating. I don't have it set up for a mouse button because I'm using my mouse just to pan 
back and forth because if I click it's gonna try to draw too and I'm like I, I just don't want to worry about it drawing anything you can click I mean it's not drawing nothing right now but I just I personally if I don't need to worry about using a mouse click for an application to work then I'm trying not to do so especially when it comes to drawing and stuff I may forget that I didn't click the button or clicked it by mistake thinking I'm about to rotate and it didn't work so I rather just use the key from the keyboard instead of a mouse click but like I mentioned if I click it it works so that video tutorial is pretty basic and simple um, I, there is a way to use the camera one where you're viewing the camera by hitting zero on your number pad and actually being in the view that you're viewing to draw but it takes more steps and is more elaborate it's more for um, novices instead of an, a beginner's perspective so if you guys are interested in learning that one um, definitely comment down below I may make a tutorial video about that but for this one this is pretty basic and simple as long as you're on number one front orthographic view or even if you're on seven top view you can still do the same rotation stuff so if I click R to rotate I rotate my top view canvas here and you guys can see that so it'll work on one or seven it doesn't matter which one you're doing and um, or any of the orthographic views basically and if you guys are interested in any of these tutorials or learning more about Blender, I do have a Facebook group called Blender Designs in IRL. And uh, that group is posted into my YouTube channel description information. So if you go over to, or to my channel and click on the link, it will send you right over to the page where you can add to join. And I will uh, let anybody join. You can post anything you want about Blender in there. I don't care if it's drawing, sculpting, animation video whatever you guys are all welcome to and if you guys are interested in more tutorials like the ones that we were talking about earlier definitely consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified for those new videos that will be coming out to you this is it for the tutorial i appreciate you guys watching if you have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and comment down below i will get back to you as soon as i see them this is your blender addict here legitly and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.